the house actually started to shake and I thought it was from the wind, not the tree falling on it. A family's house rattled by that tree that fell right on top of it. The wind caused some severe damage for people on West 116th, even trapping one family inside their home for hours because of a fallen tree and downed wires. News 5's Emily Hamilton is there now. And Emily, have crews made any kind of progress tonight? Tracy, really not much progress out here since we last checked in with you at 6 o'clock. There are no crews actively working to remove both of these large trees here on West 116th. We're told that's because they are still trying to assess the situation and navigate those downed live power lines. But when you take a look at just the size of this tree and the entire sidewalk that it ripped up, it really shows you the magnitude of 70 mile per hour winds. The first thing I noticed was it was really windy today. And then the next thing, it got super windy. Eve Weber says she's had a bad feeling about this tree in front of her home for years. I knew since the wind usually always comes from this direction that someday this tree would fall on my house and hello, we're here. And she says sometime shortly after one o'clock Sunday, the house actually started to shake and I thought it was from the wind, not the tree falling on it. Those winds between 60 and 70 miles per hour. I've never seen it that windy. Picked up and caused serious damage. The next thing I saw was the chimney cap go flying through my backyard and then branches literally flying over my house as I'm looking out the back window. The front of her home smashed by that large tree. I looked out the front door and I was like, oh my God, the tree fell. The shingles are um, bulged and along the um, north edge of the roof, there's damage. Both my gutters on the front are annihilated. And just two doors down, her neighbors in the same predicament. And that's when I noticed my neighbors were coming out of their house and the tree is laying across both of their cars. With no injuries, they're stuck inside their home due to a second fallen tree and live wires spread across their home and driveway. You can see the cords like stretched completely underneath yeah. the trunk of the tree going to their house and it's completely stretched down and underneath the limb between the houses. And we have no word yet from crews on what time we could expect these trees to start being hauled off for those crews to be able to assess some of that damage. But as Ramisha mentioned, that wind advisory still in place here in Cuyahoga County until 4 a.m. And we will continue with storm, uh, storm damage coverage and, and a look at just really the storms that ripped through much of Northeast Ohio beginning tomorrow morning on GMC at 430. Reporting live in Cleveland. Emily Hamilton, News 5.